Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Star Tropics 2. I have my guest with me again. Hey, Positron. Alright, so now we are in London, and we'll do a little bit of exploring here. Um, before we get too into it, a little bit about Star Tropics 2 itself, since it was released only in the US. Was it released in Europe as well? I don't believe so. I'm not sure about that. I know it wasn't released in Japan. Yeah, this was that made by uh, American Studio. Yeah. One of the very few games, in fact, at that time to be released that way. It was 1994, and it was, I think, if not the last, I believe the second to last game released for the NES. Oh, geez, 94. Almost, almost impossible to find. I mean, Star Tropics 1 was a gem that you couldn't really find in most video stores. And Star Tropics 2, like everyone had been moved on to the Super NES at that point. I was gonna say the Super Nintendo was out at least by 93. Yeah. Before that even, I think. I think I was... we were talking about this off off video, how I think it was what, issues 83 or 84 in, in Nintendo Power at this point. So we were well into the Super NES. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um... God, I remember Illusion of Gaia was 93, and that was in, it was probably at least a couple years into the Super Nintendo. Indeed. So we're going into fake history now. Uh, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes is not a historical figure, I must say. Oh. Well, in the logic of Star Tropics, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so we went back into the past to meet Sherlock Holmes, who's hunting Zoda X. Sure. And then he gives you some real good logic right here. Uh, maybe not here, maybe it's a little later on. Huh. Alright. So You'll go notice, by the way, if you go to the right, just go to the right for a second. It's a really weird level design where oh, the, like, the camera blocks you. Like, the fact that there's a lamppost that's vertical. Yeah. It, like, oh, prevents right. you from going. So it, it basically channels you to where you need to go. You can talk to the dog. Aw. The, uh, the fires in the pyramid, too, were, would actually hit you on both levels, even though, like, yeah. it, it shouldn't have, essentially. Hey. Hi Mike there. Jones just walking into some guy's house while he's sleeping. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, pal. No, I'm, I'm a criminal defense lawyer, and, you know, I got clients who get in trouble for doing stuff like that. So. <laughs> Better watch out, Mike. Well, hey, the dog. actually funny thing is, is uh, Mike may may very well find himself in some trouble with the law momentarily. Well, we can't go into the police station at night. Well, he will go in, but uh, not by <laughs> choice. <laughs> hey, hello, friend. Oh no! Look, I just want to learn. Okay. Look at this. It's a little late. That's suspicious. Throw you in jail. Yeah. Curfew, I guess. Uh, it's escape, Bruce, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that. He's asleep. Like uh, any good Star, Tro like any good Star Tropics game, I think you're gonna figure out what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> Very secure jails we have here in London. All right. Hmm. Is this a? Oh, it is a path. Is there anything it else is. over here? No. I don't believe so. Hey there. Are you sleepwalking? Oh, you actually are sleepwalking. I, I used to think it was the same guy that you busted into his house. I think it's a different. <laughs> right? Now he's just wandering around. Um, actually, wait. I believe if you go down, hmm. there's a secret that is of some benefit to you. Not the dog. Can we go in here? No. Keep going south. It does seem like there would be something here, doesn't it? Go back to where you went. You cut through the wall. That was yeah over here. Here we go. Huh. Hmm, it does seem like there should be something else here, huh? I believe there's a sewer somewhere that you can get a heart, if my memory serves correct. Oh. Um, 
Okay, let's uh, retrace our steps really quickly. So you can't go any further from there. Can I go back into the jail? No. No, I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, just stopping in. Like hmm. in Monopoly when you're just visiting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's always such a strange thing. It's like... I remember playing Monopoly Sorry. all the time as a kid, and the whole concept of like, oh, I just go into jail, you know, no big deal. Stay, uh... Just check down again below. I, I thought for sure it was down this way, and now this could just be evidence of my. No, I don't see anything old here. Age. Yeah, well, I guess go up to the top. Huh. It could be. It could be we missed it. I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah. If it was in that first section before getting caught, perhaps. I don't know. This yeah, I think towards it might have been. But of course, again, lamppost that blocked. This is an enormous museum. Oh my god. It's like the Parthenon. <laughs> hey! Yes, Watson, right, yes. Hey, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, just the Tetrad on display. Oh, no! It's, what does that uh, look like? Alien scum. You shove bananas in your ears. <laughs> Mighty Zoda X, or Zodax, if you prefer. <laughs> Zodax. The game is afoot. <laughs> He's like, you go fight Zoda. I'll be over here. Yeah, keeping I'll just, an eye oh, on wait, you. here it is. Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, wait, actually, stop. Oh, oh, oh right here. here it is. There we go. I couldn't remember if it was down or up, but. Oh, you've got a big heart. In the sewer. Like, I always wondered what that would look like in, 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 in real life. <laughs> be horrifying. You, caught, you go down to the sewer, you find a big heart, and, you know, if you're Link, you hold it up over your head. <laughs> Just hanging out, you know. I'll say one thing. This is where the difficulty level just ramps, oh. ramps up. Yeah, you can exit. But get ready for the difficulty level to ramp up a little bit here. This music is very unnerving, too. Yeah. This is, you're, you're, you're being oh, introduced boy. to your first type of platform oh, that no. you can walk off that of. That you can walk off of. <laughs> I was just getting to that. Yep. Okay. Well, that's, that's certainly disconcerting. I think everyone who's played this game ever has oh, done that. Not, so not necessarily twice, but. The, <laughs> the edges are actually deceptive, too. Like, you can't, like, I can walk to the edge of this. You cannot walk to the edge of this wooden raft. Not at all. And your whole experience with the Star Trop Star Tropic franchise, be it with the first game or this one, is you basically push to the end of whatever it is you're yeah. walking on, and you jump. This, you actually have to... T no. No! <laughs> oh, I need to go on the raft. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's still two spaces. Oh, hey, we get to see Merlin. Hey, buddy. There he is. Don't despair. Powerful magic. Where are we going to start here? Okay, it does start me just back at the dungeon. That's good. Back at the monkey maze. <laughs> that would be... That would be terrible. Okay. Can I make it back? No, I don't think so. I'll wait. You, you could, but you'd need to really boot it. No speedrun tactics here. Okay. So not going to jump back this time. I wonder if they've done a games done quick for this game. They probably have. Someone must have. I think I remember at least seeing someone do the first game. Okay. Oh, that was a little dicey. But we made it. Yeah. Alright, one room down. <laughs> More jellyfish. I'm gonna wait for this one. There we go. So the... The rafts are the only things I can walk off of, right? The rest of these platforms are safe? The rest of these ones, yeah. I mean, okay. just like you had, remember, in the first and the second chapter, or the second and third chapter, you had enemies that looked like previous enemies? Yeah, you'll yeah. Fi you'll find platforms that look like previous platforms that the idea is the same. But in this level, it's the raft. I feel like I could jump over to that la Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of animation in those bouncy jelly blobs. Yeah. Like, an unusual amount of animation. That is really weird. 
A lot okay, of attention okay. to detail went into those characters. Yeah. Oh. So we have red Cyclops frogs. Yep. <laughs> this this whole room makes me uncomfortable. I mean, I think even Star Tropics One had a number of rooms like this. Oh yeah, a lot they of rooms. Have to I mean, jump was... on every every tile. So I think there are some things to. Uh, there there might be something up if you can get to it. How do I? You just walk. Across. Oh, I could have walked from one of the buttons too. On the corners, yeah. Just go. Yeah. Uh so these are bears in a horrible New York sewer mutant rat sort of way. Oh my god, they're fast. Similar where they, they charge at you. Build rats. Oh, and they do a tail swipe instead of the uh, the claw. Yeah. Hey, a medicine. Wait, was that the only thing up here? I believe so. Gonna, <laughs> oh! You can just avoid these guys. Okay. Uh, so then I can just go straight down, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh god. There we go. You come out the top. Oh, there. all right. So it must be a switch. There we go. What did that open? The door to the left. Uh, um, yeah. Wait, the door to the. Oh yes, because I came in from the bottom. You're right. Yep. Okay. Now wait. Wait, yeah. Basically, I don't want you to keep running. Like normally, you're just gonna hold the down button, but oh, you can I got jump you. right yeah, on yeah. top of that that mouse, so or that rat. So, basically, proceed with caution across these screens. These aren't nearly as horrifying as the uh, the gigantic, no, nine foot tall beasts <laughs> that swing their tail oh, at you. Oh God. Man, that... But you know what, though? The faster-moving enemies can do that to you, though. Is they make use of the really short vulnerability time. In vulnerability time. And then as you get away from them, they're still running, so... The craziest one so far was the, the Michelin Man ones yeah, that had... Cool. Oh, God. They had the uh, like the really huge hitbox. And they were yeah. also kind of quick. Now, these will dump me off the side, I'm assuming. Yeah, that will. Oh, that will okay. go off the side. So you can't walk off of the off of the edge, but you can be taken off the edge. Right. Oh, we, we talked talk. about this in one of the earlier uh, earlier videos that these are one of the examples of the multi-level enemies. So. Right. Yeah. It is kind of nice that they give you some platforms here to work with, though. Yeah, they're introducing it to you, I think, because yeah, oftentimes you'll have to jump to get them. So you're at Zoda oh. X right now. Hey, buddy. I would expect that you're probably going to die, but you can give it your best shot here. <laughs> can I make that jump? I must have you to. You can, because you're, you're one level up, so... Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, it's... <laughs> that is just wrong! That is so evil! Oh, wow, they start you pretty far back. Okay. That far so there. basically, I need the cycle every time I did. I, did I lose my medicine too? I did. I oh. Did, yeah. Okay. So every time I go around, I have to re-enter essentially. I have to exit and re-enter. Yeah. Basically, try and oh, try and position your jump so you get sort of to the inside of that circle that you're, you know, to the inside edge of the circle, so you can get off maybe two shots each time you land. I almost wonder if the psychic shockwave is. Eh, probably not. It's fast. Probably but... not. You're gonna get at most three shots off, which is right. really one and a half. One and a half uh, katana, or what is this blade that we have? The dagger. I think it's a bronze dagger. Something like that. Ooh. It's like in Simon's Quest, you had all these different bladed weapons. Yeah. Owls again. Oh no. Well. It's going to be an intense boss fight now. If I recall, the boss doesn't really do much. It's it's really... You can only defeat yourself here, really. I'm pretty good at that. Oh, that was... That was dicey already. I almost feel like I should just get... 
Down, down, down. Good. Yeah, okay. I think I can get at least two every time. I almost... Yeah, I don't know if I want to attack. There we go. You can't go wrong taking it slow. Yeah. Other than eventually making a mistake. Alright, I wonder how many hits he takes. I'm gonna guess a lot. Yeah, it's probably about 20 or 25, maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> we have an extra wonderful soundtrack as well. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming those, whatever they are, can actually hit me at some point. I believe they can, but it's... It's oh. not, like... Ooh. Oh, he's like... He must be almost dead. Mm, he's kind of doing sure. this weird pulsing thing now. Oh, oh god! Oh my that goodness! I've <laughs> that I've never seen before. I've, what? I've okay. never seen that before, and I, I think that that's your punishment for not taking shots at, wow. at every juncture. I think that's sort of the deterrent from trying to take the slow way out. Because, I, Like I said, I've never seen that before. That's crazy, it's like an enrage timer. Essentially, yeah. I will tell you one other thing that you got to keep in the back of your mind here is that when you're done and you kill him, you still have to land on his platform after he's dead to trigger the switch. <laughs> so, keep, so keep that in mind. Noted. And if you jump in the water after he's dead, he comes back. Oh, good. Oh, no. Boy, I wish there was some hearts or something. I'm going to die before I even get there, I think. This has jump cut written all over it. Eh? It sure does. <laughs> it sure does. I remember watching your Star Tropics one with the uh, attacking the engine in the engine room of the <laughs> spaceship. Oh yeah, that whole section is just brutal. Yeah, where does this start me before I before we cut here? Out um, of curiosity. I think I got a bad feeling about this. All right, we'll be yeah. right. We'll be right back. Hey, and we're back. All right, uh, back here. I don't have a potion, but I have eh, close enough to full health that it's not going to be obnoxious. We're going to give this guy another shot here. Let's hope he doesn't explode like last time. Yeah. All right, I can get at least one there confidently. Two might be dicey. I guess these platforms do stay a little longer than I'm thinking, but a cycle of three isn't bad. I wonder if it's time-based or... I also only got two that time. I wonder if it's time-based or cycle-based, like... Um, like if you just sat on the platform for a while, would he eventually go explodey or... You know, I think that's a theory we're not going to test out. Yeah, I think you're right on that. But put some viewers can put something in the comments if you want to test it out yourselves. <laughs> Alright, so I got four that time, actually. So that was pretty good. Actually, oh no, oh, he's dead. You got him. You got him. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Alright. Oh, good. Wait. Now I gotta, uh, oh, God. Oh, I have to do the whole jump again? You gotta diagonally jump and go. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Go! Good day! <laughs> hey. That is a dirty trick. Oh, we are out of here. Meanwhile, Sherlock Holmes is like, uh, keeping an eye on what's going on <laughs> from upstairs. Oh, there he goes. How are we gonna find him? Oh, I don't know. Let's take this straight path to where he was here. Oh, I and he think, stepped in the sludge. I think those are his footprints. <laughs> I wonder where he went. Wait, this is another dungeon? Yep. Yeah. Oh my. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. What is over here? I think there's uh, just more. Is that... I don't trust that jump. I guess it's doable, yeah. but... You don't need those hearts. Yeah. 
Oh, these are gross looking. Oh, these are like um, Zodalings from the first, the game. first game. Were they falling down the chute like at the very end? Yeah, and and Zoda's also like shooting to match you. Yeah. Ooh. There's a there's a good little weapon. Well, that's neat. What does this do? It's got it's got some good range or decent range, and it's pretty powerful too. I wouldn't waste those now, though. All right. We do. <laughs> we will. We will use them on the boss. Zodax. That's what I used to clean my desk when I was in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was some horrible coarse chemical that we probably shouldn't have given to kids. That's all I remember. Oh my! Get out of here, rat! Was it a cat I saw? Or was it a rat? <laughs> Certainly, get get out of here! I never understood why they do that spinning around thing. Yeah, they did that in the first game. It's not like they're attacking you that way, because I mean they don't they don't have like a big tail or anything. Probably didn't. Like you have to kill these seizure, at all. Seizure rats. There we go. Ooh, that's a little little secret area. Potion, nice. Take that. Uh, I don't need to kill these. I just need to get the switch. Oh, you just need the switch. That owl wants a piece of me, though. You can only get him if you're jumping. Oh, oh, good. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Ha <laughs> Okay. Stay cool and... Uh, oh. Alright. There you go. That, that wasn't as bad as I expected. Whoa. Well, that's nightmare fuel. Remember them from Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, oh yeah. That was what the Hound of the Baskervilles was, right? <laughs> oh, we get different music now. I jumped the music right is decent, that. but it, there's no rhyme or reason for when they decide to change it up. Yeah, this is kind of like almost like hero music now, but why? Debating using that potion. I suppose I might as well, but I'll see what the next room looks like. Yeah, there may be. I don't think there are, but there might be. Some. Oh, careful! In each inside each of these circles or ovals um, is a drop-down area, I believe. That's the exit. Let me see if there's any... Nope, sure isn't. Alright. Oh. This could be another potion. Ooh. Uh... I think you want to jump down to the middle one there. There you go. Okay. Am I going down? I believe so, yeah. Oh! The left uh, and the right would have taken you to the wrong spot, I think. I'm assuming this wall on the right is going to open, unless it's just a trap here. Yeah, there we go. Hey. The three shots get rid of these guys with a psychic shockwave. Um, I'm trying to remember if you want to go up. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Ha 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 ha. Uh... Uh, oh! Uh... Do you need another potion? I think you may, so... Okay... Yeah, I'm, I'm... I guess it's only a couple platforms. <laughs> Famous last one, okay. It didn't troll me on where that last one's gonna pop up. Oh, okay, except... Wow, that's... Well, you, I'm gonna you use one, one here. Yeah. Still gonna be up quite a bit of health, though, so that's fine. Yeah. Nice. Where does this take me? Oh, okay, so this goes... It takes you to the... one of those side areas that you oh. would have... If you, if you had dropped down one of the side circles instead of the middle circle. Oh, jeez. It's taking me all sorts of places. Uh, I think I can just leave here. I'm guessing this brings me... Yeah, okay, cool. It's a nice go. little detour. 
Do I have to kill the rats again? I don't. That's actually quite merciful. It's also merciful he turned the other way and not into you. Yeah. That was helpful. I like when they cooperate. Oh dear. Oh god. Back to this music. Yeah, like if this wasn't unnerving enough already. I... Want to try your luck? I kind of want those hearts, but I kind of don't want to deal with that jump. Yeah. Oh, hey, great. Now I can fail five times. <laughs> Excellent. All right, I can get back to this platform, I think. It's the it's the raft raft that makes me a little uneasy. The raft on raft action. Oh, baby. Uh, okay. How the hell would I get that? No way. I. Oh, okay. Those did something I did not think they were going to do, so I'm just going to wait. There can't possibly be anything worthwhile in that treasure chest to make me go down there. I'll probably. I gonna, think you're, think you're going to have to go down there, though, so. You're going you're to go up to the right? Right? That. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, and it might not seem so important. Ooh, that was a close one. But wait, a wait, minute. wait, wait! Stay right there. Don't move. So wait until you see the raft coming back on the left before you jump onto the. Dis oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Because you only go. Well, wait a minute. Where does this? Oh, okay. This is how I get down to this. I gotcha. So I had to come down here. Yeah. Exactly. Great. Stay up there until you get rid of these guys. Whoa. Alright, that one's not gonna play nice. Oh, jeez. I'm guessing... What is... Oh, wait, which... I think there's some stuff to the right that might be helpful, but if you want to just finish the level, you can go left. You've got some potions, it might not be necessary to do this. In fact, I probably wouldn't do that. I have two po- yeah, I'm not gonna need famous last words, but... I think the game's lagged a bit ahead for you, oh, by goodness. the way, so I might be seeing things about half a second behind. You know what? I'm gonna get that potion. <laughs> so I'm gonna use one here, I'm gonna get that potion. Cause those little Zoda spawn guys did a number on me here. Alright, that's good. Okay. Man, an extra heart right away. Oh my. Oh, is this a boss? It is. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, those do not look good. Boy, this is, this is a wild experience here. Somewhere in the middle, towards the bottom, like the second to third tile, there's a couple places where you can basically rotate between either two tiles or even four tiles just like right there yeah i kind of see it oh no that one pushes me down i see what you're talking about though like it'll just like loop me around i think it's slightly to the left of center oh god that's uh, a lot of damage all right that's why we have medicines so touching him oh yeah don't touch him touching him does a lot of damage yeah Oh, jeez. Th those uh, do the most damage. They sure do. Wow, those medicines went real fast. It's actually a really cool boss, though. Where is he? You got oh, him. I got him. Nice. Oh, jeez. That looks familiar. Nice. That was a cool boss. I like that.
We've done it. It's gonna be another, uh... Yeah, there is. Good stuff. And we get a little more life there. What, Didn't 11? we have 11? Didn't we used to have 11 per row in the first Star Tropics? Yes, which was really strange. Like, why 11? But yeah, it was it was 11 per. Hey, thanks a lot, Sherlock. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Blah, blah, Tetrads. Blah, blah, Zodax. I love this logic. Oh, because there's a Zoda X, there must be a Zoda Y and a Zoda Z. But he has nothing to go on. <laughs> it's not like there was, like... <laughs> You know, like a Zoda W or something. <laughs> so this is the point where it dawns on Mike that Zoda's back in the picture. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it from here. Just pardon me while I shatter history by standing in front of you and using my magic time traveling book. Nah, it doesn't matter. He, he wasn't actually part of history. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's fake anyway, so we're good. Oh, goodness. I'm assuming we're off to another time and space. Chapter 5. Is this going to be the one I think it is? I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know a bit about this place. My least favorite level, I will say, but <laughs> it's still, still good nonetheless. All right, well, we'll deal with this place and all of its cacti next time. So <laughs> thanks for joining us, and thanks, David, for joining me, and we'll see you soon. You're welcome. See you next time.